Hi friends, welcome to Narayshai Technologies. Welcome to the fourth session on permutations and combinations. Let us look into the first question. How many diagonals are there in a decagon? Now, what is a decagon? Decagon is a polygon with 10 sides. Now, there are different ways to answer this question. Now, let us look into the basics of this. Now, what is a triangle? Triangle is a polygon with 3 sides. Definitely to draw a triangle, we require 3 non-collinear points. In the same way, quadrilateral. Quadrilateral is a polygon with 4 sides. So, to draw a quadrilateral, we require 4 non-collinear points. In the same way, pentagon. Pentagon is a polygon with 5 sides and to construct a pentagon, we require 5 non-collinear points. Now, before we answer decagon, let us look into how to find the number of diagonals in a pentagon in a general way. As we told, to construct a pentagon, we require 5 non-collinear points. Let us suppose these are the 5 non-collinear points A, B, C, D, E. Now, first of all, let us try to draw all the line segments possible using these 5 non-collinear points. Now, what is a line segment? A line joining 2 points is a line segment. Now, let us start from A, A, B, A, C, A, D, A. So, if we here we have 4 line segments. Next, starting from B, B, C, B, D, B. We have 3. Starting from C, C, D, C. We have 2 from D, D, 1. So, the total number of line segments that we can draw using 5 non-collinear points is 10. In this A, B, C, D, E, this is a pentagon where A, B, B, C, C, D, D, E and A, E are the sides of the pentagon. Definitely all the other line segments should be the diagonals. So, out of the total 10 line segments we have drawn, we have 5 sides. So, from total 10 line segments, we subtract the number of sides, we get the number of diagonals. So, a pentagon has 5 diagonals, but for each and every polygon to draw like this may take or may consume lot of time. Now, how to answer this question directly? Now, the logic here is from total number of line segments, if we subtract the number of sides, we get the number of diagonals. Now, first of all, to draw a line segment, we require how many points? To draw a line segment, we require 2 points. That is, you select any 2 points out of these 5 points. Among those 2 points, you find 1 line segment. Here, we have totally 5 non-collinear points. So, in how many ways can we select 2 points at a time out of 5 non-collinear points is given by phi C2. So, phi C2 is the total number of line segments from which I need to subtract the number of sides. Now, we know that pentagon has 5 sides. So, phi C2 minus phi. Now, how much is phi C2? Phi C2, 5 into 4 by 2, 20 by 2, 10, 10 minus phi, phi. So, this is how we can solve. Now, coming to our question, how many diagonals are there in a decagon? Now, decagon is a polygon with 10 sides. So, our answer should be 10 C2 minus 10. Now, how much is 10 C2? 10 into 9 by 2, which is 45. 45 minus 10, answer is 35. So, a decagon has 35 diagonals. Now, how to frame a formula for this. Now, to construct a n sided polygon, we require n non collinear points. Using n non collinear points, the total number of line segments we can draw is n c 2, from which I need to subtract the number of sides. So, n c 2 minus n will give you the number of diagonals. 
solving this we get n into n minus 3 by 2. So, the number of diagonals of a n sided polygon is given by n c 2 minus n or n into n minus 3 by 2. Now, let us look into the next problem. The number of diagonals in a n sided polygon is 27 find n. Now, this is a reverse question to that of the first question. In the first question we know the number of sides and we are asked to find out the number of diagonals. Here we know the number of diagonals, we are asked to find the number of sides. As we know the formula for number of diagonals of a n sided polygon is n into n minus 3 by 2 which is equal to 27 n square minus 3 n should be equal to 54. Now, you can solve this by quadratic equation or we can go for trial and error. Now, n square is a perfect square and it should be greater than 54. Now, what is the nearest perfect squares sorry what are the nearest perfect squares greater than 54. Now, the first perfect square greater than 54 is 64 which is 8 square. So, 8 square 64 minus 3 into 8 24. Now, 64 minus 24 is 40, but here I have 54. Now, let us look into the next perfect square greater than 64. It is 81, which is 9 square. 9 square minus 27. 9 square that is 81 minus 27 is 54. So, definitely the value of n should be 9. Now, this is how you can solve this particular problem or we can go for quadratic equations where we can find out the factors and solve this particular problem. Thank you for watching. For more videos, subscribe to Naresh IT.